the origami Christmas tree. What does it look like? This is the origami Christmas tree. And it's made with one sheet of paper. So what are you going to need? You're going to need a piece of paper and scissors. Piece of paper and scissors. I'm using an A4 size paper. 8.5 by 11 is fine. Um, press pause whenever you need to to follow the steps. But we're going to start with step one. How to make an origami square. How to make an origami square. If you have origami, you can skip this step. But let's go into step one. First of all, you get your paper here and you're going to fold a big triangle here, kind of like making a paper airplane. But anyway, you want to make this as even as possible. It's just the one fold down. And then you can fold across the other way. And what you'll be left with is this tail here. And we're going to cut this tail off. So let's cut the tail off. There we go. We don't need this piece of paper so basically we'll be left with here and you open it up you have your origami square there you go that's step one uh, making a triangle pyramid what is it i call it a triangle pyramid because it looks like this basically making this shape so let's make this step two making the triangle pyramid okay If you have a regular piece of origami, then what you're doing is you're folding it across and then fold it down this way, and then you want to fold it back the other way. You're going to see why in just a second. Fold it back the other way. Again, try to keep this as even as possible and open it up. This time we're going to fold it horizontally. Fold it across this way and open that up. Running across horizontally this way. Now all the ends should be inverted, and this will drop your you know, straight into this pyramid. Do you see it? It's dropped straight into a pyramid. There you go. Are you okay. So again, your folds will look like this if they're all inverted folds nicely into this pyramid. Okay, that's step two. Step three, making an eight-sided umbrella. Eight-sided umbrella. I don't know. I think it kind of looks like an umbrella. This is what it looks like. Your eight-sided umbrella. It looks like this. This is what we're going to do. So let's do it. Uh, basically, you're taking your sheet. You have your pyramid, right? So now you're going to fold. You're going to fold your paper like so, folding your paper like so, and just flip this over, you're going to do the next one. So the next one is going to look like that, and we're going to keep going around doing this. Until you get all four sides done. Are you okay with me? And what you're going to do is, you're going to fold that back, if you can fold it back the other way too, just fold it back the other way, um, so that you have a double crease on this. Okay, so you're going to fold it back the other way, and fold it back the other way. Now what's going to happen is, your folds are all going to look like this, it's coming out like an umbrella, but you're going to have your, so get your pyramid back, get your pyramid back. There you go. And now you're going to take each of these sides, you're going to fold it like this, and you can crease it down the middle. Crease it down the middle like so. I'm going to show you again. Take your folds, you should be folding it back like this. Now look at this here. Kind of umbrella shape here. Do this with all of them. Yeah. And when you have all of these, you're gonna have your A4 
basic umbrella shape, like so. There you go. It's all just like an umbrella. Okay, this was step three or step four. Cutting out the tree base and forming a basic Christmas tree. Yeah, so cutting out the base or uh, the tree base and forming a basic Christmas tree. Well, um, that's gonna look like this. So you're gonna need your scissors for this. This is an easy step. Uh, basically, you wanna fold your paper out like so. You wanna fold all your ends back this way. I folded it to the part where you can see the fold open. So this is how you're folding it, but all eight sides are inside. Then you're gonna get your scissors. First thing you wanna do is you wanna cut the base here. Cut a flat base because that's where you want your tree to stand. Like so. So we're gonna cut that off. Just cut straight across. Like so. And then we're gonna cut an L shape going down like this. We're gonna cut this shape going back down this way. So you can start from the bottom. I'm starting from the bottom. Here we go. Cutting up to the fold. And then I'm gonna cut across where I just cut and that should leave us with that fold there and then it gives you the base you don't need this here but this is going to give you your basic Christmas tree kind of looks cool huh okay, step five uh, cutting and forming the tree edges cutting and forming the tree edges um, it's going to look like this you want to cut the edges like this so what we're looking at. So what do you do? You're going to need your scissors again. And we're going to cut. For this example, I'm not going to cut so many. But for this example, you're going to cut in a down angle. So let's cut down just a little bit. Cut down. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to fold these back. So you have to do this with each one. You're just going to fold it like so. Fold it like so, and then you're gonna have that tree shape like this, which should kind of give you the edges that come out like that. You're gonna have to do that going all the way around the tree. So just make all your cuts going like that. So okay, step six. We're at step six: cutting and forming the star and finalizing the complete Christmas tree. That's what we're doing. Our last step here. Uh, we want to make this star. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, I just failed in my past attempt, so um, after you have all your fringes like this, what you want to do is actually fold your paper back into this shape, so it's going to be back in its original shape here. Uh, you cut in a down angle to make those edges, right? You cut in a down angle to make those edges. This time we're going to cut in an upward angle to make the star, and the higher up you cut, the smaller your star, the lower down you cut, the bigger the star is. I'm going to make a bigger star just for the example, but you want to cut almost to the edge. Here we go. As close as possible without cutting it off. Okay, that's close enough. See how we cut that there? But now we're going to rip off the edges except for one. It's off. Oh, I need to cut a little bit more because it's a little bit too much to rip. But, okay, I might have just cut that off. But anyway, let's try. Oh, here we go. I was lucky this time because I cut it big enough. But there you are. You cut and then you just take the last. All the edges are going to come off like that. But you'll be left with one edge and then your star will be formed kind of like so this star is a little bit too big but you end up with a star kind of like that the smaller the star is the better it'll stand it'll be connected but then you kind of end up with this christmas tree there you go so this is the origami christmas tree wish you luck with making that again the star is a little bit tricky but Good luck with that. Merry Christmas, everyone. Enjoy the activity.